What's up, our YouTube family? Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out another video with us. So you might have seen our last video, which was um, episode one, Bangkok for our travels in Thailand. And um, if you haven't, you should go check it out. Uh, the link is gonna be in the description below. So now we are gonna do episode two. This is Chiang Mai, which is in the northern hills region of Thailand. Mm, they have spicy food there. I was gonna say the same thing. <laughs> Mm. Spicy food. So, and yet, we have the same reoccurring theme, Star Wars nerd, Star Wars scroll, Star Wars music. So again, you're not gonna hear the music. Sorry about that. We'll have to put in some other music. Um, I think this is the Imperial March, so imagine <laughs> this. Yeah. So that's what's playing <laughs> when this starts. And um, yeah, let's check it out and see what Chiang Mai had to offer. I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, adventures in Thailand. Chiang Mai. Rai. Chiang Rai. Why did he say Rai? It was just the way that, that we was, pronounced it? Because that was the city we went to. Oh, right. Chiang Rai. I see your food. Yeah. Chang my tractor beam. Man, I miss that food. Nala the lioness. Oh, yeah. Lana Kantok. Yeah, this was a good intro. This was really kind of summarizing stuff. Wow. Chang Rai. Tiger penis whiskey. Oh, oh yeah, the God. tiger penis whiskey. <laughs> it's so fun to remember this. Yep, yep, so Northern Thailand, here we go. Aw, Cam, you're such a yeah, good guy. Yeah, Cam. Helping the ninja off the bus. I can't believe I had two cameras with me. Right? Did I rent oh, a Vanessa. camera for them? Hey, Vanessa. Our Bangkok bunch. Yeah, I miss my friends. God, there were people just everywhere, weren't there? Yeah, a lot of people. Man, look at how ornate. It was so nice having everything taken care of by that tour company, though. I mean, oh. to have to deal with that ourselves would have been really Translator, nice. look how, it's so beautiful. Yeah, everything is so gold, right? I love gold. That was a great shot. Look at that Buddha. Yeah. Oh, also that reminds me, let me pause it here on the Buddha. Um, so when you see these still shots like that, that is from my photography. And if you're interested in any of these prints or any other prints, I've got a whole lot of them. We'll leave a description, a description? We'll leave a link. <laughs> in the description box. In the description. <laughs> and look, yes, I'm a little biased. He's my husband and I love him. But if that weren't the case, I still would be floored by this photography. It's amazing, super awesome. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so yeah, you. you'll see a lot of my photography and if you're interested in checking out more of it, um, Here's the links. Sickimagery.com. Sickimagery.com. This.com. Got my Instagram profile, which is right here. And um, yeah, check it out. So if you like any of the photography. Oh, the ruins. Yeah, that was yeah, cool. Yeah, gosh. Everything was so ornate. What? Cherry Luang. 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 Fifteenth century. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I remember I forgot that. We, I Who forgot took we that did picture? It. Oh, uh, that was so much fun. Oh yeah. Oh, there's all of our friends. That was an Scott amazing Kate. time. Oh, Jerome! Look at Jerome getting up and going and doing his tie dance. He was like the only one brave enough to do it, right? No, Zena did too. Oh, Zena did too. That's right. Look at that. Homegirl just came and said, Zena, you come oh, with Oh, Zena, her. yeah. There she goes. It's 
reminds me of the Karate Kid when they did the dance and then the dude came zip lining down in. Oh, right. Yeah, no. Glad that didn't happen. Look at those instruments. I want to play those. Mm, that was tasty. Remember that fried chicken? Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love that shot. That Some ceremonial cool. special dance at the end. Here we are. A little selfies. Hey, selfie. Spooky. You know I gotta rep my ravens. That's for you, Tramel. Oh, she's so cool. Oh, Nala. I love her. Little little fuzzball. Oh, look she at that. She was like very playful, right? They needed that pillow just to keep her attention. And I had to wear that special shirt. Oh yeah. So I, thought I didn't that was get good. my Oh look at that. She was so playful with you, right? I loved all the little things that they had for her to jump around. I love that I could take pictures. Oh. Oh, look, look at that. Look at you even girl. have to have those special slippers on. Look at that. Rah. Okay, so let me pause this real quick. Now, I'm an animal lover. Avid, right? Um, and first of all, this shouldn't be happening and I'm wrong for even doing this. Um, I don't recommend this. These kind of animals should not be in these kind of facilities um, and if they are they should be well taken care of but when you're paying to be able to interact with these animals they're taking advantage of these animals and it's not a good thing to do and the more people like me do this kind of thing the more they're gonna keep breeding them and keep trying to get people to come in and just to get money. And, um, you know, I was caught up in the moment and didn't think the way I do now. Um, I wouldn't do this ever again. It was a once in a lifetime thing. It was amazing. But, you know, things we like... We didn't have that thinking. We no. weren't thinking that back then. I mean, it was like... You know, hanging out and holding a lion cub. It sounds amazing. It is amazing. But it's the wrong thing to do. Like swimming with dolphins, you know. And, and, and these are things that I've done too. So I'm not acting like I'm better than anybody. Um, but I've learned, and these things are stuff that you shouldn't do, you know? But, um... That just got real serious. You know, I just wanted to be real about it, you mm -hmm. know? I don't want to advocate for people to go out and play with lion cubs. Like, they shouldn't even be there for us to play with. But, like, was the mother hurt somehow, and they rehabilitated, rehabilitated um, her? Or? Even if that's the case, you should not interact with these animals. The, 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 this animal, they could have led her back out into the wild. But when you're interacting with humans all the time, that animal can never go back to the wild. And it doesn't belong there. So, you know, just keep that in mind. It's cute, it's fun to look at, it's fun to actually do, but it's really detrimental to these, these animals. So please, um, when you get a chance, bypass that. You know, go to an elephant sanctuary where you don't ride them, where you wash them, you know, view these animals from a distance, don't not do what we don't did. do what we did. But she was cute though. Oh, and again. <laughs> now I feel guilty, like. You know, animals like this in the wild, there's no way you'd be able to do this, you know? That was a great picture. It was an amazing experience, but Never doing this again. Especially the big cats being my favorite animals. Boy, look at that. He was huge. Man, I'm standing- Like, how did we get so close to him like that? Look at that, I'm standing there, feet away from, from those teeth. Oh yeah, the Karen. The Aka. Aka. That's what I meant to say. The Aka. Of course, there was like a gazillion things for you to buy. It was hard to pick what to get. But you know, it was sad because like, it all seemed like it came from a warehouse. Yeah, it didn't seem so handmade. Authentic. It was like, okay, here's our set up little touristy spot and we'll get the same five things. Yeah, it's stuff from a warehouse. But you know, we, we bought a few things to help support them. Mm -hmm. You know, some souvenirs for our family members. She was oh, great. Oh, she was great. She posed for that she picture so for smiley. me and was just smiley. Oh, yeah. so what was the deal with all the teeth with the black? Yeah, so the black on the teeth, right? In this tribe, the Akka, um, 
chew, they chewed this thing called beetle nut. And what it did is it ended up making your beetle nut, beetle nut, beetle nut. <laughs> <laughs> it ended up making your teeth completely black. Yeah, um, look at her gums and everything. I mean, her teeth are black, black. Wow. Now, this is a symbol of beauty in their tribe. So, she was beautiful. You know, all these people would chew this beetle nut, beetle nut, beetle nut, and get these black teeth, black teeth, black teeth. And they were considered beautiful people. So like, does that rub off or does that ever... Well, her teeth, mm, is that her I teeth? No. Do is any that... of you guys know anything about beetle like, nut? I mean, we never that? researched this, so if you know, is this permanent? Like, leave us a comment and let us know if you've been there or seen this and tell us what you think, because I, I don't know if it comes off or if it... I have no idea. Me neither. She's beautiful, but, but she's I'm like cool. fascinated by that. I must have been filming. See how shaky it is. No gimbal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Karen, the yeah. long neck. Do you think everybody knows what that is? Oh, there we are. I'm sure most people have seen the ring, the ring neck people. Oh, oh there's yeah. our guide, Sam. Sharky. Sam? Sam, Uncle Sam. Sam, yeah. Look at this. This was their school in the tribe. This was their school. Can you imagine? This is where the kids go to learn. I mean, it's absolutely crazy. Like, it's just an empty cinder block building. No windows, just a roof and some benches, you know, with a little chalkboard. Mm -hmm. But what I did remember is they had like some English words up there, like they were le learning English. Of course, they're trying to sell, you know, stuff to tourists. Right. So, but it was crazy to see a school like that, you know? I know, it was, yeah. I think that's one of the cool things. Oh, yeah. She was cute. We ended up buying one of those scarves for somebody. Oh. Look at him, I remember that. Gosh, I remember this like it was yesterday. I how love that it, picture. Like, how do you have a cell phone? She oh, was like, I could not me. be bothered. Oh, yeah, I love that. It's picture. beautiful, yeah. And you know, one of the cool things about this is um, you know, you see the ring necks and a lot of people, it's a big misconception. A lot of people are like, oh, it stretches their neck out. Then they got this long neck. What it is, is it actually compresses the torso. The more rings you add on it, the more weight that's bearing down on your collarbones and all your bones. So all this weight is starting to push your torso down. It's not elongating your neck per se, it's crushing your body. I mean, it sounds horrible. But she's beautiful. She is. But it's painful. Do you think that's painful? Oh. I don't know. That was a nice, uh, yeah. nice dinner. Hey. Yeah. Vanessa Cam, Jerome, Zena. Oh wow. Shang Rai. Oh. Doesn't that look like a dream? Like it's made out of frosting or something? That was crazy. Oh, there's your dude. It's like a Transformer Iron Man. It's like a Green Bay Packer guy. Green Bay Packer guy. He's all green and yellow. She's talking. Predator! That's my dude. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. The Golden Triangle. This was cool. Um, so the Golden Triangle is basically a point in um, Southeast Asia where Thailand, Laos, and Myanmar, or formerly Burma, um, meet. And this was actually really heavy in the opium trade um, way back oh, in the day. Right. Um, that's what they called this uh, was the Golden Triangle. And man, we went to that opium museum. It was crazy. <laughs> we didn't do anything. No. No, we did. <laughs> oh, so this is where we could see all three. All three yeah. at the same time. Yeah. That's cool. Went over to Laos. Yeah. I never would have thought I'd have gone to Laos. I know, huh? remember? Welcome to Laos. All spray painted on there. Yeah, that's a detailed sign there. Yeah, oh, I still have yeah. that. See, I'm still traumatized by this. No, no. It's where we're trying a shot of Cobra whiskey. Wow. Girl, get it. Here we go. Yay, Adriana. She took it like a champ. I know, I'm so proud. Woo! I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Look at Ninja. Hey. Hey, Laos. 
Oh, my beautiful love. Mm -hmm. And goodbye, Laos. Had a great Look at time. That. that was an amazing time. I remember everybody. Oh, yeah. yeah, this was great. This was also really cool, right? Because we had T with us. Yeah. Um, T's the guy in the, in the far back. Um, not far back, but at the end of the table on the left side. And um, T was the only one in the group that spoke Thai. Oh my gosh, such a lifesaver. <laughs> so our last day in Chiang Mai, we wanted to get some kind of good food, but we don't know what to order. We never know anything. We just order what's familiar, you yeah, know? Yeah, or point to something or that we Or point to a picture, yeah. right. So we went out with them and he just ordered up like plates of stuff. I, I still don't even know what we ate. I mean, we that told him cool, no shellfish. Though. It was like a whole spread of everything yeah. thanks to him, yeah. And we just passed it all around and got like some real authentic Thai food from like not a touristy place. Like this was really cool. Shout out to you, T. Yeah, awesome. T, thank you. And remember though, they, because he could speak the language, like you don't get ripped off with the touristy prices. Yeah. He was like, no, no, no. This is what I want, and he knows how much to pay for it. It was great. Got the hook up. Yeah. I'll let you hear me. Yum. Mm, I don't even know what any me of that either. is. Oh, I remember that. That was from our hotel room. Remember, we were in a like a Holiday Inn, and oh it God. was the nicest Holiday Inn I've ever experienced in my life. It was you gorgeous. Know, it was like you think Holiday Inn is gonna be just like. When we heard about it, we were, we're like, like, we're going Holiday to Holiday Inn, Inn huh? Okay, and because the first hotel we were in in Bangkok was like this boutique, really cool and Five modern, star, cool hotel, and then we see we're going to Holiday Inn. This was the most awesome Holiday Inn we I've ever seen. We got there and we were like, whoa, are we sure this is a Holiday Inn? It was yeah. beautiful. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. Man. Yeah, we still have those shirts. Yeah, yeah. That was great. Well, so that was the end <laughs> of Chiang Mai. Mai. Episode two of our first adventures as Jinx and the Tiny Ninja. We hope you enjoyed it. We know it's really elementary, but look, we were documenting our journey as just a private couple. This was just our vacation, you know? We didn't expect to be showing this to everybody. Well, we ended up expecting to show it to everybody, which is why you can see the description and you can see the link in the description below yeah. because it's on my website. But initially that wasn't the case. We were just filming because we wanted to have the memories. Yeah. Man, that was great. It's fun to look back on. We hope you guys enjoyed it too. Yeah, and, and tell us, have, have any of you guys been to Chiang Mai or Thailand? Let us know what your favorite favorite place in Thailand is. Mm, and favorite dish, so when we go back we yeah, can try it. Yeah, what is a must-have dish? Because we love our food. Can't wait to get back out. I know. So hopefully you enjoyed it, and please make sure you guys stick around for episode three. Oh, three. Three. Go create an adventure. Peace! Two. No, that's not what I wanted to say. I'm actually kind of impressed that I remember what that sounds like. The, like, the Imperial March? Yeah, like before you, I would have never known if you were to say that, what that actually meant. Technical difficulties are super annoying.